Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are checking out the KNF Concepts Solar Powered PTZ or Pan, Tilt and Zoom Security Camera. Now it is one great looking wall mount security camera with a 355 degrees horizontal rotation and 95 degrees of tilt. Now there is a built-in 4,800 milliamp, 21,700 rechargeable lithium ion battery pack within the wall mount. There are two three decibel stick antennas that will rotate 180 degrees to maximize signal strength. On the bottom of the wall mount is the five volt, two amp micro USB port to either charge the built-in batteries with a charge cable or with the provided solar panel. There is a light indicator that turns red while it is charging and turns blue when the batteries are fully charged. Now it is made to be watertight by the use of a double silicon rubber cover. And there are two holes, one on each side for to mount it to a wall. So here is the rotating platform and here is the rotating head. Now, because the rotating platform is flat on the top, you are able to use this camera as a tabletop device as well. All you have to do is flip the screen in the phone app. Now here on the tilting portion of the rotating head are the 1080p resolution camera lens. And here is the PIR or the passive infrared motion sensor, which is able to detect motion up to 13 meters away. We have the indicator LED light. We have the photo sensor and we have the two 850 nanometer infrared LED lights for black and white night vision. And we have the microphone hole for the two-way communication. On the bottom is another silicone watertight cover, which contains the power switch, the micro SD card slot, which supports up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card and the reset button. The speaker is in the rear and the camera unit weighs in at 632 grams. Now the solar panel weighs in at just 197 grams with the swivel mount attached and measures in at 6.75 inches by 4.75 inches and the thickness at the edges are not even a quarter inch thick, but it does get thicker towards the mid section. Now the micro USB power cable that is attached to the solar panel is about nine feet in length. So the solar panel can be mounted somewhere else where it will have maximum sun exposure and not necessarily right next to the camera itself. Now the rotating wall mount has three screw holes to mount it to a wall and it will rotate a full 360 degrees and it has a 90 degree tilt. So to get started, download the Cloud Edge app. It is a free downloadable app in the App Store. So go ahead and check it out. Next, insert a micro SD card into the micro SD card slot. Power on the camera. Long press the power button for five seconds. Next, open up the app. Add the camera and follow the instructions on the app. Please power on the device. Please reset the device by holding the reset button for 5 seconds. Wait for the indicator light to flash red. Select the Wi-Fi network you want to sync with. Please choose a 2.4G network, then enter your network password your QR code, then hold the code in front of the camera lens at a distance of 5 to 8 inches. Connecting, please wait a moment. Once connected successfully, mount the camera to a desirable location and 
mount the solar panel where it will be exposed to the direct sunlight most of the day. Now once set up and running and it detects motion, it will send you a push notification. Now notice that the motion detection works better as the intruder crosses the path of the detection area sideways opposed to coming towards or going away from the camera. Now there is no alarm tone while the app is open, but while you are on your device anywhere else, a push notification with the alarm tone is displayed as well as when your device is locked. So once a motion is detected, hit the messages icon on the bottom center. Here you can choose the camera and view the motion detected video recordings. Tap on the date to choose the desired time. Now you can tap on the photo to view the snapshot of the incident. Scroll to the left to view more previous snapshots. Now tap anywhere other than the thumbnail itself to view the recorded video. Now here in the main home page, you can view the cameras in the list view or the grid view. Now here I have two other brands of security cameras that also utilizes the same phone app. And when you have multiple cameras, you can hit the grid icon on the top right to see all cameras simultaneously with the live video feeds. Now hit the expand icon to switch to the landscape mode. Now you are able to double tap on each of the thumbnails to view them in the full screen modes. Now here is a recorded video and it is 4.48 p.m. or 4.49 p.m. now here in California. The sun officially sets here at 4.37 p.m. So it is the latter part of the golden hour and the camera seems to be doing a very good job still yet of keeping things clear and bright enough. So it is now 5.10 p.m. and oh what a difference 20 minutes can make, huh? So now as you can see, all of the solar lights have turned themselves on and they are flickering away. And the infrared LED lights on the camera has now turned on automatically because of the photo sensor detecting darkness and the video is now in black and white. Now the photo sensor will detect light when dawn arrives and the infrared LED lights will then turn off automatically and the color video will resume. And this is how an intruder looks like at this time of the day. And now it is 5.36 p.m. and it is just about completely dark and everything is looking brighter now than some 30 minutes ago. Now those flickering solar lights are so much brighter as well. So surprisingly, I am impressed with how bright it is at night with the infrared LED lights. Now this camera does not have white LED lights for color night vision so you cannot really make out facial features and such because of the infrared light bounce back but to me I prefer watching an intruder 
without them knowing that I'm watching them. And now here is how an intruder may look like at this time of the day, or rather night. Now here is a recorded video at 6.28 p.m. in the SD or the standard definition setting which is 640 by 360 pixels and it is 15 frames per second. Now here is a recorded video at 6.31 p.m. in the high definition setting which is 1920 by 1080 pixels at 15 frames per second. And here is a standard definition video at 6.25 a.m. Now the infrared LED lights have turned themselves off and the color day vision has now returned. And here is a high definition video at 6.29 a.m. And finally, here is a recorded standard definition video at 9.30 a.m. Now the standard definition video is very good even though it is only 640 by 360 pixels. And here is the recorded high definition video one minute later. So even though it is 1920 by 1080 pixels, the HD video quality will greatly depend on the location of the camera in relation to the Wi-Fi signal strength. Here in the main live view interface, you can take a screenshot, press and hold the intercom for the two-way audio, record a video, set the motion detection, pan, tilt, and zoom, and open the photo slash video album. And here in the history interface, you can see the motion detected video clips in the expandable timetable. You can slide it back and forth to locate the exact time period of a motion detection, or hit the alert icon to go to a specific time to see the recorded video clip. And if you subscribe to the cloud, you can see the recorded video clips here. On the video screen, you can turn the audio on or off. Switch from SD to HD and back to SD. and expand to the landscape mode. Now here in the landscape mode, you can record a video as well. Snap a photo. Press and hold the intercom icon for the two-way audio. Pan, tilt and zoom. and switch resolution from SD to HD and back to SD as well. So there you have it guys, the KNF Concepts solar powered pan, tilt and zoom security camera. 
It is an easy to set up and easy to use security camera with the Cloud Edge phone app. So that'll do it for this video. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.